Welcome family. This is Lara Linus Kitchen. I'm going to be preparing fatty jello fries. The first stage is I want to cook my turkey and I'll be frying it later. So this is 20 kilo of turkey. And uh, as you can see, I'm using a I'm cookie 20 kilo of rice. So I needed to go with that. So in here, there is the ingredients. So this is how we just do it. We roll it. So I'm going to be showing the recipe picture because we are doing party jello fries. So this is the process. You get a very big pot to cook your food. Okay, so this is the frying process. I put my let your oil to be very hot so that your meat don't get soaked. Put our party jello fries. Meat frying. Okay. Our old times are rather thank you for the new one, please. You're welcome. Subscribe, share, or comment, and like. God bless you. Okay, so see this is the meat. You see how beautiful and how dry it is. So with this, you are good to go. So this is how we're going to fry every other meat and I'm going to show you the picture later. Okay, here is the patty jello fry pot. There's the first pot, 10 kilo. Here I have uh, put uh, tomatoes, five bottles. I use this uh, uh, marker or I use these tomatoes. You can as well use fresh tomatoes. So this one is 700 grams times 5 times 6, whatever. So depends. So I'm going to make use of my tin tomatoes, a cup. So let's see the gram. So I just want all of you to know how to cook 10 kilo. So the measurement is simple. So this very can like this. So I've just put it with granola oil, the one I use in frying the meat, and I added little to it. So that's the tomatoes and the tin tomatoes that is here. So I'm going to leave it to cook for a while. So I'm going to add other ingredients like pepper, like tatashe, then fresh pepper. Then I'm still going to add grounded onions and our meat stock to it to let it boil at least 40 minutes before we add our rice. Thank you. Okay, so here is the uh, the meat stock. I'm going. You see what I'm doing for the jello fries, fatty jello fries. I'll take out my time to sift it. This fatty falls, I don't like it in jello. I don't know if anyone likes it. If you know you like it, put it on the comment section. And you like it when you eat jello and it's rough and there is this um, thyme, curry, onions, everything is just on me. I don't like it. So you see the way I'm sifting it. So this I'm going to sift all the water I'm going to use. And if it's possible, you can blend this with the other one that I've sifted already with the onions and all you can blend it to a smooth paste and it's good to go. So this is how I do my party jello fries. The meat stock, I, you see, I don't like this in the rice. It doesn't make the rice look beautiful. Okay, so thank you. Okay, look at the meat water, the meat stock. You see how plain it is. No particles, no onions, no curry, no thyme. Cannot see. So when you cook your rice with this kind of meat stock, it will be beautiful, sweet, and it's attractive. So this is the method I use for party jello fries. And my normal rice at home, this is the same method I use. So if you use the same method, you will have a great food at any party or location. Thank you. Okay, this is the remaining ingredient I'm grinding, the tatashe tree. Then I have 10 onions this size and 8 pepper. So I'm going to grind it to join it to the, the sauce you saw just now with the meat stock and we are good to go. I'm adding the meat stock, add to it, then the blended tatashe, onions and pepper. I'm adding it to it. So you look at it, you stir. So at this point, I'm going to add one cup of Duro's curry. This Duro's curry. I'm just adding one cup because you are doing 10 kilo. So just leave it and stir. So at this moment, I will not be adding salt now because I've already, off camera, I've added 10 cubes of mangi. So I'm going to be covering to cook to fry for 40 minutes i'll show you later back thank you okay i've already washed the rice just pour it in you see what i'm doing stir 
then add water to your quantity. So what I do, I add my water above this. So by the time it rises, it gets there. So you just put water. You see, just this length and lower your gas and cover it. So this is how to cook party jello fries. You lower your gas. Don't be in hurry to on it to increase it. If not, you will eat a smoked party jello fries. Thank you. God bless you. Please follow this procedure and and feel free to tag me that you use my process and my procedure. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, so this is the outcome. This is 10 kilo rice. You see how beautiful it is. Yummy, sweet. So this is how your jello fry should be. After, if you follow my real procedure, the way I taught everyone, you will see that you have, you know how to cook party jello fries. So this is it. We are done with it. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Like, comment, and share. Us out. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. It now, so do it this very method. Then add your meat, leave it to cool as you see it. Lara or the lost kitchen. So, this is our rice the way we pack it, but we'll leave it to cool down. I'm going to show you another pack, and we are good to go. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.